in this video i would like to show you like i would like to introduce you to a very powerful package in emacs so it's called helm without wasting much of our time let's begin so if i do a control x control f this is helm actually helm is actually a framework for uh, incremental completions so right out of the gate you can see the difference it pops up as a buffer so you can navigate to your configuration so i have prepared a configuration over here so helm.el this is the configuration which i'm going to use so let me turn off the transparency for a second so use package helm i'm using the package helm because i'm on straight package management system i use uh, colon straight t if i'm on package.el i will use something like uh, ensure t then i'm configuring some key bindings so meta x for helm meta x so if i do an all text you can see this is helm meta x so here if i need to search for something like customized themes because i've enabled fuzzy find i can do like uh, s space th and it pops up like that so you can see over here i just type this so you can already see how helpful this is then control x rb for filtered bookmarks so i don't use this much so let's uh, remove that because i have the dashboard i don't need to worry about that then control x control f for uh, helm find files you can see this is helm find files so it give you like uh, small nodes like if you do a control l it goes up to one level so if you do a control l you can see that so it gives you like uh, small co configuration stuff like uh small helpful hints not configuration stuff i'm sorry so if you do a control g you can exit out of that then control s have uh, set control s to helm occur so control s this is helm occur actually so if i need to search something over here for example use dash package you can see it's highlighting that over there and i can navigate to the next one like that with my arrow keys or my and then control n and control p you can do that in regular emacs fashion so meta y is my kill ring so kill ring is like clipboard in your machine like uh, if you copy something for example if i select these lines and if i do an alt w and if i do a meta y for a helm show kill ring you can see the content over there before that i have copied this so if i need to navigate and find something which i have copied before i can go down and find it then there is helm mini for uh, I have changed the default buffer settings to show Helm Mini. So if I do a Control X B, you can see this is Helm Mini. You can navigate to your buffers. You can navigate your recent files, stuff like that. What I've done in this line is the default Helm prefix command is Control X C. So sometimes when I'm working on something, instead of doing Control X C i often do control x control c and it asks me whether i need to exit emacs stuff like that happen so in order to avoid that i'll remap the helm command prefix to control c and h so if i do a control c and h this is helm prefix key so helm prefix command will pop up if you do a control c h and you have options to select whichever you want to use helm have uh, so many things built in so helm is huge so if i wanted to take a complete walkthrough of helm it will take like maybe 10 20 videos it's that huge so if you need to open something like a propose you can do an i over here so this will give you like help so if you need to find help of something for example customize face you hit that it'll open up the help over here stuff like that so if you need to have like uh, 
the key binding for that you can follow the same pattern and uh, over here you can so, so like uh, specify helm approaches that's up to you this line will enable helm and uh, in this line I have defined uh, like by default helm tab behavior is not like uh, tab completion it will execute like it will ask you what do you want to do so helm is like uh, like figure something out what you want and do whatever you want with it later approach instead of that i just changed into default tab behavior so if i do control x control f and if i search co and hit tab you can see it auto completed but by the default behavior is a little bit different and here in these lines i've enabled fuzzy matching so fuzzy matching for uh, meta x so all text so this buffer will have fuzzy matching I have enabled fuzzy matching for buffers recent semantic and i mean that's what i've done in these lines then i've added another package so this is helm swoop you can consider this as a super search or something so if you need to find something for example if i need to find set if i do a super f you can see this is helm swoop if i search something like set you can see this so if i want to navigate to that you can navigate to that so you have like uh, control h m to open up your help stuff like that so if i do control h m it will open up the help for helm you can see the basics you can see the configuration sources and all the other stuff so this is a plain oak file so if you want you can like uh, minimize and all this stuff like every other oak file and read through whatever you want so you can navigate using space and you can like actually scroll up and all this stuff so q to exit out of this that's pretty much it for this one so i hope this one was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day